Well, hi there and welcome. How are you feeling today? Jump into reading in English with Emily, but first, please download the PDF. The link is in the description below, and that way you can follow really easily. So, hey there, Emily fans. What are we going to talk about today? Well, have you ever had one of those days when everything just feels a bit off? Maybe it's a gloomy day outside, or maybe something happened that's got you feeling down. It happens to all of us, and it's totally okay to feel that way sometimes. But here's the thing. Sometimes it can be hard to find the right words to describe how you're feeling, especially when you're speaking in English. That's why I'm here to help. I've got some handy phrases that you can use to talk about feeling sad in English. Imagine waking up on a rainy day and just feeling a bit low. You might say you're feeling blue. It's a simple way to describe that feeling of sadness that sometimes comes out of nowhere. Or maybe something really sad happened and you just need a good cry to let it all out. In that case, you could say you cried your heart out. It's like releasing all those pent up, trapped emotions and giving yourself a chance to feel better. I got fired. I cried my eyes out. I also cried my heart out. Ever felt like this? A weight on your chest when you're sad? That's what having a heavy heart feels like. It's that deep, heavy feeling of sadness that seems to weigh you down. And then there are those times where something happens, something hits you so hard emotionally that you start crying uncontrollably. It's like your emotions are overflowing and you can't keep them in anymore. Finally, there's the feeling of being so overwhelmed with sadness that you can't function normally. You might say you've fallen to pieces, like an emotional breakdown. It's like everything around you is falling apart and you are struggling to keep it together. So there you have it. Next time you're feeling down, remember these phrases to help you express how you feel. And remember, it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Please take care of yourself. But we're not done. Let's walk through all of the vocabulary that we have learned today. Feeling blue. After failing my exam, I've been feeling blue all week. Crying your heart out. When I heard the sad news, I cried my heart out. Heavy hearted. After the breakup, she walked around with a heavy heart. Reduced to tears. The touching movie scene reduced everyone in the theater to tears. The movie was so sad, it was so touching, we were reduced to tears. Falling to pieces. After the unexpected loss, she felt like she was falling to pieces, or maybe even she fell to pieces. Would you like to do a quick recap with me? Feeling blue. This phrase is a classic way to describe feeling sad or feeling down. It's like when you wake up on a gloomy day and you just can't shake off that feeling of sadness. You're feeling blue. Why are you feeling blue? I don't know. I'm just feeling blue. Cry your heart out. Sometimes you just need a good cry to let it all out. When something makes you cry uncontrollably, you can say you cried your heart out. It's like releasing all your trapped, pent-up emotions. Heavy heart. 
Ever felt like there's a weight on your chest when you're sad? That's what having a heavy heart feels like. It's a deep sense of sadness that weighs you down. Reduced to tears. When something upsets you and you start crying, you've been reduced to tears. Fall to pieces. This phrase describes feeling so overwhelmed with sadness that you can't function normally. It's like everything around you is falling apart and you're struggling to keep it together. And now here are the idioms and phrases we've covered along with their definitions. But would you like to do a quiz with me? What phrase describes feeling sad on a rainy day? Feeling green? I don't think so. Feeling blue? Maybe. Feeling red? No. Feeling blue. Perfect. How would you describe the feeling of deep sadness that seems to weigh you down? Lighthearted? I don't think so. Heavy hearted? Hmm, that's better. Cold hearted? Hmm, that's a whole different meaning. And please stay tuned, like and subscribe because I'm going to do a reel about the heart phrases. Would you like that? Please comment below. Okay, which phrase indicates being overwhelmed with sadness and unable to function normally? Falling to pieces? Falling apart? Falling to the ground? Let's go back to this one. Which phrase indicates being overwhelmed with sadness and unable to function properly? I'm going to say A and B are both correct. She's falling to pieces. She's falling apart. Both are correct. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this Reading in English with Emily, episode please do like and subscribe don't forget to claim your free pdf the link is in the description below have a fabulous day and i hope that you are not feeling down you are not feeling a bit off you're not feeling blue have a fabulous day goodbye